Hey guys, I have this ArborJet Quick Jet Air system uh, that we're going to put up for sale. So I'm making this video to show everything that comes with this particular kit. Okay, first of all, the whole kit is stored in a Pelican case. Super heavy duty protection for all the equipment inside. Uh, let me show you what's up inside the lid first. Okay, so up here we have a pen uh, for your field notes. Inside this little compartment, that's where we have the two different size drill bits that you need to match with your arbor plugs. Um, in here is a DVH tape, uh, the ArborJet DVH tape. And in this little compartment is the needle that you'll need. You'll see that later. And then in here we have a few things. Um, a small hammer that'll come in handy when you're setting your arbor plugs and you'll need the uh, the plug setter with that and then these are check valves I'll show you where this goes in a minute so there are three bottles inside here there in order for it to all fit they're all laying horizontally but when you're using it out in the field you stand them up so the first one has the quick jet air gun and it's this weird like cut off thing that's how they sell it this is the one that the chemicals go in we have two little boxes of arbor plugs uh full sizes and then this is the compressed air in here so when we get out in the field you stand it all up and now you're good to go so first step is to connect the air bottle to the gun let's do this right okay okay that is connected and then let me get my safety glasses on and we're going to use our top secret chemicals uh, this is um, what do they call it dihydride monoxide or something like that <laughs> so that'll go into this bottle here and uh, I'm just doing this to show you a how it works but B also that it actually does work uh, for in a very precise measurement here and then there's a clear piece of tubing hanging off the gun and that just gets pushed into here and then the chemicals can go back inside get this out of the way you take your gun it's important that the chemical bottle is standing upright we we'll pull out this little needle right here and that gets just pushed into the end okay and now we have to open the valve And we should be good to go here. Of course, we've set the plug in the tree already. We put this into the tree. Uh, you might have to prime it a couple times, so you just push this trigger. That's leftover water. As you pull it back, it fills up this chamber, and then that's what injects into the tree. So, woohoo! Um, that's the basic gist of the system. The compressed air in here is what is pushing, um, uh, what's pushing the chemical into the tree. Uh, a little tip, if you do buy this setup, um, this bottle can be filled uh, at paintball gun shops, uh, people that do airsoft use it, and um, a few other uh, we get ours filled at a local dive shop. There's a phone number right there. Um, but what we figured out is that it really sucks to have to go there, fit it into your schedule. So I bought hoorah, this big old tank of air right here. And we have this adapter. Uh, I'm happy to throw this in with the kit. I would give this as well, but I don't think it makes sense to sh try to ship this big old can. Um, but this adapter just screws right on top of the bottle. The 
the little bottle goes on, you open it up and it'll push all the air from here into there. I think I paid 150 bucks for this big tank and now we don't have to worry about um, uh, about getting there to do an errand to fill it up when we have it up in the shop right here. Uh, when we're done, make sure that guy is off. You can unscrew this guy. Uh, just dump out this. Okay, so I just clean that out with the with the uh, clean jet, and we can disconnect that hose and we're going to close the valve on the main bottle. Take that needle off and put it back in its spot up here. And woo! Let me screw this guy. cap on it to protect the threads and uh, the compressed bottle goes in first and then the chemical bottle goes in the gun goes this way the two bo boxes of plugs go here and the hose just lays in this way Now it's ready to go to the next job. Uh, that little check valve sits right here in front of this short piece of hose that goes into the gun. Uh, it's got these little arrows on it that show you that the flow of the chemical is coming this way so you know which way to put it on. Propozole especially over time will build up a residue inside that check valve and sometimes make it just not work and you'll see the chemical as you're as you're flipping the uh, the little switch here back and forth you'll see it just kind of go like this inside the tubes but not actually get pushed down into the gun. When that happens, you take the check valve off, put a new one on, and when you get back to the shop, soak this in clean jet or rubbing alcohol and that will get in there and break down any buildup inside the other check valve so that that one is ready to be put back on when this one gets clogged. Okay, so this is such an awesome kit, why the heck am I selling it? Whoa, <laughs> um, why am I selling it? Uh, it does work, it is an awesome kit. It has one major limitation at our company that makes it not great to hold on to. Um, so there's a, a minor limitation I'll tell you about. The tree IV system, you measure the tree, you put the chemicals into the bottle, you put the plugs in the tree, and then you put the needles in and the system will evenly distribute those chemicals into the tree. With this system, you have to uh, uh, do a little bit of extra math on if you're doing 100 milliliters and you have 10 injection sites, um, you know that that's 10 milliliters going into each plug. That's two full pumps, so you have to remember one, two, and that math can be a little annoying sometimes. Uh, it's not a big deal. Uh, and if you don't get it exactly right, as long as the chemical is more or less evenly distributed around the tree, you'll be fine. But um, the major limitation is that this system does not have really high pressure. Not, it's not high PSI. Um, so if you're doing sycamore trees for us have really fast uptake, this system does really well. Uh, if you're doing emerald ash borer, I've under, I have never had to inject for that here in Southern California, but I've heard that the ash trees have really good uptake, um, so this system would be good for you. Uh, what we tend to do most here at our company is injecting of pines that are getting beaten up by drought and bark beetles, and those trees have really high uh, the tree itself has a high PSI, and so you need an even higher PSI to push the chemical in. Um, and this system doesn't have a high enough PSI to do that. The tree IV system has much more power. Uh, if you use this system 
on a pine tree, you push the, the little button in and you have to wait and sometimes it can be five or ten minutes at one plug while you're waiting for those chemicals to uptake. And if you can only do one hole at a time, if you have ten holes, that could take you an hour to do one tree. Where the way we do it, we have three or four tree IV systems and one guy can come over, set all the plugs, put all the needles in, open the bottle, let the tree IV system push the chemicals in over time while he's over at the next tree getting that one set up with a different system. And usually by the time he's done getting that one set up, he can come back and pull the first system and move it to tree number three. Uh, but if not, he can use the third system to set it up on tree number three while he waits for that first system to finish. With this one, you don't have that luxury. Um, you have to do one at a time. So if you're one installer and you don't have a whole crew of guys that are trying to do 20 pine trees out on a hillside that all have slow uptake, uh, you don't want this system. But if you're the one applicator and most of the trees that you're dealing with are uh, deciduous broadleaf trees that are gonna have a faster uptake, uh, I think you're really gonna love this system. It totally works. Give me a call, text me, email me, tweet me, Facebook me, whatever you gotta do if you have questions about it. I'm gonna start the price high, basically at full retail price. Um, keep in mind though that it does come with the hammer, the plug setter, the Pelican case, uh, those Arbor plugs are ready to go. Um, you have some backup pieces in there. So it's a good value even if you buy it for full price. But the way Luke's floor works, that price is gonna keep on dropping. So eventually someone's gonna take it and I think they'll be really happy with it. So good luck out there and be safe.